Okay, everyone, thanks for joining. Steve-O here with Steve-O's Gaming Gen Dungeon. We are going to be playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition today with the slab that I created this morning and a little bit last night. Uh, it is going to be the sewers, and we got a party together to go clear it out. So, everyone, I just exposed the first room, so y'all can see now. Um, if you want to prepare anything at this point, uh, we'll do a quick introduction to characters. Uh, you'll probably remember me from yesterday. I'm the cleric, Silverborn Dragon Cleric. Uh, we also got Susie, or Susie. Uh, Susie. Yeah, go ahead and give us a reminder of your character. I'm the other cleric of order. Um, yeah. Oh Keep yeah, like... you're the one. You're the one who let the bear, bug bear attack multiple times. Yeah. So any melee in our party are gonna have a great time. Sweet beans. I'm melee. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, and then the elf rogue. Go ahead. Dusty Longbottom. Yeah, uh, Dusty uh, Longbottom. Mel half uh, rogue. Uh, sorry, half uh, elf rogue. Wow, I can't talk today. That's uh, Rasa. That's me. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have something written out. If you have the time to, to sure, a, go like, ahead. Yeah, okay, this is a little paragraph. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, born from a family to being the oldest, he was always responsible for his younger sister of eight years. Tragically lost at the age of sixteen on a hunting trip. Since then, his parents have shunned him, blamed him for losing his sister. For the next three years, he stayed in that house since he had nowhere to go. Soldiers entered the tavern one night. He was dropping on their war tales. He then decided what he wanted to be, a soldier. Uh, in the back of his mind, he always hoped that one day he might find his sister, since she was never actually found. Uh, over the next four years, he gained strength and found camaraderie with his fellow soldiers. At age 24, he became one of the youngest officers in recent history. But just two months later, being arrogant led his soldiers into an obvious ambush. He was the only one spared, <laughs> only because he hid under his own soldiers' bodies. Oh, uh, wow. Now that he's alone again, <laughs> he wanders from town to town searching for his lost sister. That's all. Oh, dude, first he loses his sister on a hunting trip, and then he fucks up all his men in the military? That is sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's probably got, like, P P S PTSD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my thought. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, maybe he'll find his sister in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> or at least part of her. <laughs> yeah, I was I was afraid that might happen. So as you right. if you mention that, Susie will say, you know, she has two brothers, but they're actually younger brothers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But they're back in Avernus. I don't think they're your siblings. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then um how about ash you go ahead sure thing so abram is a pure blood yanti he uh, originally was from the serpent hills and was basically just kind of like a simple uh, soldier um but uh, never quite was comfortable with his people he uh kind of had that come to a head when they were on a, a mission to recover some artifact that the uh the uh, serpent cult was looking for. And uh, basically they just sent him out to die as a distraction for the rest of them. Uh, they, they just kind of saw it as practical and, you know, left him to die. Uh, but he saw people that he'd actually shed blood for, or, like walk away without even looking back for him. So he dragged himself away. He was very stubborn and uh, determined, but uh, he was very weak from blood loss. And he basically passed out. He was like following this sound uh, through the hills and away from where he'd been uh, wounded. And he kind of passed out as he saw this group of people like dancing under the stars and around a fire and like celebrating in the moonlight. And he'd never seen people just enjoying themselves for the sake of enjoying themselves. So he kind of passed. Dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> so anyway, he woke up. They had found him and uh, the um, Salunites uh, cared for him. And eventually he, uh, you know, really admired what they what they were, stood for. And he actually eventually became a, a paladin of Salune. Um, mm. and, for his initiation, he went back to those ruins where his um, where his uh, comrades had left him behind, uh, left him behind, and uh, was seeking out this this object they were looking for because he didn't want it to fall into their hands. Uh, when he got down into it and found it, it was actually he could hear it calling to him as he was getting close. It was like speaking out, and 
when he found this stone sarcophagus, it was just like, yeah, just take me out into the world and like, you know, we'll, you know, your, my power will be your power. So he opened it and Ooh. took out this broken bladed sword, uh, which bonded to him. He chose to bond to it because he heard the, the cultists kind of coming and he's like, well, I can't leave it here for them. Mm-hmm. So he bonded to it. Yeah, he has a level of warlock now, Hexblade. And uh, now he's been fighting it basically ever since. Uh, he, he has sworn he will not allow it to advance its power over him any further. Uh, and basically he finds his meditations to Salune helpful. So he's continued to progress as a paladin, but it's always there in the back of his head, like kind of trying to tempt him into utilizing more of its power so that it can gain more control over him. Um, so he's hmm. kind of realized he's going to have to figure that out uh, at some point. Maybe it can be sanctified or something. But for now, yeah. he's continuing to keep it with himself and continuing uh, walking the path of the Moon Maiden uh, and uh, keeping it from harming others and using it for good. Um, you w- will see, what well, I probably have noticed at one point, that um, he does keep it in the sheath, but the sheath actually has a two metal latches on the top that locks the sword into it. And sometimes it almost seems like it, it jiggles a little bit. Um, and so uh, when he's ready to use it, he kind of like, you can see him kind of like bolstering his will and then he flips the latches and draws the sword. Nice. All right. Cool. Is that the broken sword on your mini? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It That's is. so cool. <laughs> oh, I downloaded yeah, right. my mini out, so you can you can throw my character out there. I forgot to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, which one is it? W- w- wandering eyes. Wandering eyes. Uh, With the mimic chest. The mimic chest. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Links. W. I've got these eyes. stickers. Gotcha. I got. I can't remember where, but I've got these uh, these stickers. I slap on stuff that just says "not a mimic." Yeah, there I am. Not a mimic. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I like the hair. Yeah, that, that's what my hair actually looks like, except for the colors. <laughs> that's <laughs> great, dude. That's great. And what's that behind you? A trap? Yes. Okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, my Anyone else? Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and introduce her? That, that's or, the one I I was uh, well. It looks like a her, but the face it's like it's supposed to be a guy. Okay, sorry, him. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. No, that's the one I was talking about. Those I, luscious uh, locks. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. <Sweet. laughs> Who hasn't gone then? The Dusty Longbottom. Did you go? Yep. Okay, and I think that was everybody. Let me know if I skipped you on accident. But um, you guys made me want to talk about my character's background a little bit. <laughs> So has yeah, anyone ever played um yeah. has anyone ever played Icewind Dale? On PlayStation and PC. The video game? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember do you remember East Haven? I honestly I'm not gonna lie, I honestly don't. Okay. Well there's this town in Icewind Dale called East Haven and the whole st- I, I don't know if you guys ever read the books. Do you ever read the Forgotten Realms books? No, I haven't read yeah, the books. I did. Did you read the ones about Krenshinabon, that crystal uh, in the Icewind Dale? Uh, yeah, the crystal shard and uh, the whole uh, the original trilogy that introduced Dritz Erden. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the kind of universe or area that um, a lot of my games take place in because I love Icewind oh, Dale cool. in general. Nice. Um, and my character comes from East Haven, which was the place where Jared Stone is. It's this huge stone disc where uh, there was this once once this huge war, and uh, all these demons were pouring out of a portal into Icewind Dale, and Jared jumped into the portal, sacrificed himself to close it, and then the barbarian tribes had been united under him, and they were able to defeat the army and win basically. And then, so Jared Stone was put in East Haven in the temple there, and that's where my character grew up it was in that East Haven temple. That's why he's a cleric. That's why he worships Talos, which is the oh, barbarian nice. God of war. Um, so he's, he's a really cool character. Yeah. You got a good um, backstory because you, you yeah. got a lot of lore, a lore with it. Mm-hmm. It comes with a ton of Icewind Dale lore. So my guy knows the area pretty well. Um, but otherwise I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted, uh, he's also a silverborn dragonborn, right? And he was dropped off at the temple as like a baby. He was abandoned, and we don't know we don't know why, but that's why he was raised by humans in East Haven. So there you go. There's my paladin or my cleric, rather. We're we're a very devout group. We have two clerics. Yeah, we're very we're very we're we're, we're like on a crusade. 
either that or we're about to like kick off our own holy war here <laughs> amongst <Yeah>. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm kind of lawful evil. Uh oh. <laughs> but it's okay. Well, I like my friend. That's good. That's good. Well, we'll take good care of you. Um. So with that, on that note, now that we've done introductions, uh, the sewer. I haven't really written. This is kind of like a test run of it. So I don't have too much written for it, but I do have all the like monsters mapped out and stuff. So it's just going to be kind of like a hack and slash, really. And we'll just get some prizes for our characters and call it a game. Sounds good. All right. So anyone want to prepare? I'm going to cast Bless on the four of you. And at higher uh, levels, I can do all. I can do that with four people instead of three. And for now, I'm going to cast Aid for uh, three Okay. Which three? Well, actually, me. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm okay. I'll go for who's going to be more likely to be up front and get hit. Susie's Obviously... going to you know, tap you on your shoulder as you're trying to cast that. Be like, uh, I mean, you can save a spell slot. I cast that like every day. Oh, okay. Cool. And, and with extra benefits. <laughs> Aid with benefits. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Then if there's any I don't problems. think they stack. No, not, not the same one. Yeah. yeah. Um, one second. Uh, uh, I'll probably cast Sanctuary on myself. Let me see how long that lasts. I might wait to till we see something though. Yeah, I think Sanctuary is ten minutes. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and cast uh, Armor of Agathis on myself. Uh, it's it's got an hour duration, so that will give me ten temporary hit points. Sanctuary is one minute. Okay, I'll wait. Okay. All right, um, everyone's blessed. So my bless is only for one minute too, but I just have a feeling that this first room we might need it. So one minute is fine. I need to be able to control my guy. Oh, uh, who said? You're good. Who is that Sea Storm? Oh, my bad, Ronsa. Ronsa. W- wandering eyes. Wandering eyes. Okay, you're this one. Yes, and I need to be the curly oh, guy. Okay. What's your uh, uh, tailspire name? Uh, wandering eyes. I don't see you. Are you in the map? Yeah, I, I see my character on the board. Yeah, but I don't see you in the map. You see Sea Storm, Brocket, Ash, Edges Zero, and me. Oh, Edges Zero. Uh, that must be my name then. That must be the other name. I got my things confused. Edges Zero. Oh, so yeah. It's, you don't mean I was saying my name? wrong. I was saying my wrong tag name. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so GM tools. It. It's okay. <laughs> uh, H zero. Okay. There we go. And so I can yeah, I yeah. can get rid of the elf then. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's awesome. fine. Okay. Sweepings. We. Oh. Oh, I got a bug. Hold on. Oh shit. I haven't That's seen this. Why we? I test, don't know right? if y'all are looking at my map, but. If you can see my stream, it's it's a very weird bug that happens sometimes. I don't know how I did it. I hope I'm gonna have to go back to the main menu and refresh the map, so it might kick all of you. Sorry. All right. Let me go, let me go back in. Here. Luckily, I made did, the sewers did, the default map. So did not all the map load out or something? Uh, what happens is it gets it, it makes this weird like 3D cube where the map disappears in that 3D cube area. Okay. And it it, make, it gives it this really weird like galaxy looking effect. I have to reload the map in order to fix it. Just another bug. But y'all are still back in here. So, oh, I gotta missing. reload. I'm missing <laughs> Sea Storm. Mm-hmm. Who do? Which figure were you? The rogue. Elf. Oh. oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna open the gate here. And uh, we can talk a little strategy as far as, if you guys don't mind, I'll go first because I'm really tanky. I got 22 AC. 
Yeah, I'm pretty tanky too. So between the two of us, I think we'll be. Yeah. To, cause I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cautious as I come in and look around. Hmm. Hmm. My guy's voice sounds like a snake. Uh, I'm going to roll for perception, I guess. Uh, let me actually use my sheet. See what I can see. I'm also going to, um, FYI, this is dim lighting, even though it looks pretty well lit because I'm an awesome builder. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it's actually dim lighting. So you, if you have regular eyesight like me, I'm going to flip on my night vision goggles that I have. I think they're called like goggles of night. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put those on. So I, I look like a SWAT guy. With, and they you hear like little high-pitched noise as you turn the lighting on, you know. Sam Fisher. Yeah, yeah, Sam Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, let me roll for it, though. I actually have to do the dice. So, perception. Plus two. Not bad. Not bad. 17. All right. Um, anyone else want to roll for perception? See if they can beat that? I'll have a look around. I have dark vision. Let's see. My guy's being Such. cautious and kind of just. Did you guys know you can just move with the arrow keys? Yeah, that's. Happening. I don't see nothing. <laughs> no, you you got a worse one than me. Anyone else want to try? I'll try. I'll yeah. give guidance to whoever tries next. Yeah, good idea. So that's I forgot advantage, to do that. Right? Or is that no? It's is just a D four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And plus a D four. Plus yeah, that's in our investigation. Uh, this is perception. We can do investigation okay. next. Plus four. So, 22. 22. Right nice. on. Uh, that succeeds. You're able to tell. You're not sure what, but you can tell something's coming from this drain. And it's giving you an uneasy feeling. You don't like it. Hey, guys, there's something coming from that drain. Uh, My character sniffs. Mm, all I smell is sewage. Gonna move up, from, up up on it from both sides? Yeah. And I'm gonna roll for movement. investigation. Let's see if I can investigate it and not trigger it. Um, and I'm not no. sure see, see. Everyone try to investigate it. Roll for investigation. Oh, there we go. And I got a plus eight to it. Nice. So nice. that definitely succeeds. You can tell there's a gray ooze inside of there. Ugh. It that appears looks... to be kind of like sitting there. If you were right over the grate, it would probably come out and attack you. But in not getting up close enough otherwise, it should stay in there. You're able to determine that much. Let's not get too close. Yeah, my clothes are a little too fancy for that. Ah. We should keep an eye on these grates. They look like trouble. Okay, so now we know that that's base. What that is is a trap. All right, that's a trap. <laughs> we just found it by being careful. Good on us. But otherwise, this room seems to be eerily empty. And uh, you can hear kind of like dripping and maybe some like pipe banging noises in the distance, but we can't really see much else. So we got three directions to go, pretty much. Mm hmm. Right, peek up the uh, ladder? Uh, yes, you can. Give me an investigation check again. Be a little more thorough than perception here. Ooh, low. Um, that's enough, though. You're able to see that it it goes up to a dead end. It's, it's like a manhole that's sealed at the top. So someone at the top would have to open it in order for you to get out. So it seems to be a dead end. Okay. Would I be able to turn any of these valves on the pipes? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Which ones? Which ones are you doing? I mean, I'm going down this way. So I don't know. Okay. Here, in, the, in, in that case, yeah. you went close Maybe if I turn to... them in a certain pattern, something happens. We got a valve puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
All right. Nah, I'm not gonna. Know? Actually, there's too many of them. Uh, I see that there's like three different sets, so I'm not gonna actually do it. There's just too okay. many. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to check every one of them, and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, and luckily, your passive perception is able to tell you that. It, all they really are are just pressure valves, and they. That's all I really. Do anything. Yeah. Probably not. Okay, so this hall is now exposed. My character's slowly gonna make his way down there carefully. I like using the arrow keys because it looks like he's walking. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna investigate these mushrooms. Hmm, are these edible? Uh, I'm gonna roll for survival. I think I get a zero for that. Survival. Oh, plus two. Well, because it's wisdom, so. And it sucks. I mean, <laughs> I'm able to tell that they are indeed mushrooms, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I might have some odd rolls. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm not seem doesn't seem to have the. Uh, the uh, plugin working to get the uh, dice rolls to import from. Uh... DVD oh on. dang! Try refreshing on both ends. Ooh, I okay. noticed there's a spider in the corner. Ooh, yes, there is. Someone want to investigate this grate real quick? Oh I'll yeah, I will. That's it. a good idea. I'll investigate. I'll investigate that. This list is too big. Investigation plus zero. Freaking nope. What was the other one? An eighteen. Plus eight. Plus eight, that definitely works. You can tell it's the exact same thing as last time. So we're starting to see a pattern here. Away from the ooze. <laughs> yeah, stay, stay away from these grates. They are trouble. Yeah, more pressure valves. Uh, another dead end ladder. My character's passive perception is able to see that it's another dead end. Uh, Let's eat these bodies. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here though. Yeah, and How what far... is this? Un, like that's is these like webbing, or what is this over the bodies and stuff here? Yeah, that is spider webbing. Our passive perception ah. knows that much at least. It's very sticky, and it it'll slow you if you walk over it. It basically will act like the web spell. Gotcha. Um, and I'm gonna roll for perception just to see if I can detect anything. Because the spider, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember the spiders from yesterday, but they were a lot of fun. Ah, oh, I don't see shit. Anyone else want to try? I got a 23 on these bodies. And my passive this time was Are uh, you 19. investigating the bodies, or are you just perceiving them? Pursuit, pers uh, yeah. Okay, so perceiving. that's the whole, you're, you're able to perceive the whole room then. You can see that okay. there's a bunch of different, you know, Skeletons, elf, dwarf, doesn't really... Yeah, all, all of the above are in there, <laughs> down to their bones. And there's a spider in the corner, sitting on a big old pile of treasure. And it isn't moving yet. It seems to be in tune with its web. Your, your guess is that if you step on this webbing, it'll come after you. That seems reasonable. Yeah. So let's lure it out. I'm gonna roll Art. for animal handling to see if I can communicate with it. I guess. Yeah, I was about to say I don't think we have a druid with us today. We might just want to take this one out. <laughs> but you can try. Yeah, it. yeah. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try animal handling. Um, I get a plus two on it. So. Oh, nice! Oh. I knocked it back for you. <laughs> After yesterday's events, my character has learned how to commune with spiders a little bit, just a little, and I'm able to say, you know, like, make the little squeaky noises, like yesterday, whoever <laughs> was talking to him, remember the little squeaky noises? He's talking. I, I remember they like bugs. We got any bugs? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and, I, and my character is able to determine, thanks to the 21, he's able to determine that if we give him a bug, he'll probably leave us alone. And we're in a sewer, so... Um, my character's like, let's find the big, fat, juicy cockroach. I'm going to search through the dirt and mushrooms over here, I guess. What was it? Survival yeah, or nature? Survival. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to search these ones over here. 
I got oh, another big one. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. <laughs> 22. I'll try. Let me see if I can get a crit. That'd be awesome. Oh, uh, nope. All right, so you find a bigger cockroach than mine. Yours is big and fat <laughs> and juicy. But we'll throw both again. We'll give them both. I'm going to try to throw it. Um, yeah, dexterity check. So it has check. to go to it, like, over here. Okay. Dexterity check. I'm going to do the same just thing. Just a regular dexterity? Okay. Yeah, just, yeah. Dexterity plus one. Could be worse. Yeah, oh, dude. But my it, roll it's out there. Suck. <laughs> These bugs have wings. Shit, cockroaches can yeah. fly. <laughs> Mine flies away. <laughs> forget. And, and what, did, what did you roll? Let me open my a little screen. higher than yours, but still under a ten. It was oh, a six, dude. Our both of them flew away. We have to get new ones. <laughs> it's a bug. It's literally a bug hunt. We're literally, literally teasing literally the spider. <laughs> yeah, the spider uh, moves a little bit, but uh, all right. I'm gonna go back to this pile. Roll for survival again. <laughs> Just do this until we get it right. All right, I got a nineteen. I got a nice big one. I'm going to run back, eh. do a dexterity check. Eh. I got a little one. <laughs> oh, that one didn't pop up. Come on. Sometimes the D&D Beyond ones don't show up. Dexterity. Yeah, now mine's not. All right, well, whatever. It's plus one to this. 14, 15. All right, I did it just enough to get it about where we wanted so the spider runs over to the bug and is now distracted. However, we're still slowed, so we gotta hurry up. Hey, I'm gonna you, I'm gonna stick my bug it? just like on the edge of the web so okay. I don't have to throw it. <laughs> Alright, sweet. And then I'll watch your back if flying bird. It. Okay, oh, I'm gonna yeah. roll to see what we get here for the treasure. We'll do three for this. Any of these are a six? Nope. But this is the gold. 1,100 each. That's two nice. 11s in a row. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah. So Mike, I'm going to run back out of that web as fast as I can. And we made it just in time because now he goes over to his second bug and he's eating that. I'm going to walk just close enough here to unlock this next room. Can I communicate telepathically with it? Uh, yeah, I would guess yes. If you can speak, it depends on what your telepathic ability says. Some of them require you to know the language and others don't. Um, I think it also so depends you, on the intelligence of the creature, too. Spiders it actually have depends. pretty good intelligence. They can, then you should be good, yeah. Yeah, they can talk if, if someone can communicate. It's simple, but they can talk and stuff. I'm using the uh, ring of mind shielding. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one protects you from telepathy, but does it let you speak telep telepathically? No, you're immune to magic. Uh, creatures can te telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. Ah, uh, see. So I'm not sure how that plays out. Yeah, I don't think that it, it shields you from that. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. It doesn't make it so you can use it like that. It just kind of protects you from it. Okay, I wasn't sure so. Unless the if you read the fine print, if you die and someone puts it on, your soul <laughs> yeah. is trapped in it. So and then they cannot stop you from talking to them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. If you're badass. trapped in the ring, then you can telepathically speak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta die for that. So nah, not worth. <laughs> it's not worth it. Although bonus if you die. So, all right, I'm gonna slowly kind of inch down here. And I'm pretty sure we can safely assume this crate is the same as the last ones. Yeah, I think that's just all of them at this point. Yeah. So I'm avoiding those. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Um, my passive, my spidey sense is tingling, so I'm going to roll for a stronger perception check. Because we have come to a pretty big room here rid of that. Alright, perception check again. Everybody roll for perception here, see what we can see. 
or someone give me the help action so I can. I'll uh, guide uh, you, I guess. Okay. I think the elf always sees everything, so we we should be good. <laughs> I do yeah. have alert and observant, so. Okay, seven. Tw oh, who ruled the twenty? Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, awesome! You're able to see. Uh, this room is obviously surrounded by bones. You can and you, you look at those first, then you look at the grates, and <laughs> things start to connect. You're like, I think the thing that's been eating all these people are these oozes and you notice in the center of the room one of the grates appears to be glowing a lot more than the other ones and you're, you get a bad feeling from it for sure spooky vibes and the rest of us i rolled decent and we all did okay so we can all kind of tell the same thing but you got the strongest feeling so you go ahead and role play how what we do next I want to sneak up and investigate it. Ooh, give me a stealth check. Let's see. Stealth is plus 10. So 22. Right, 22. You succeed. Ooh, you can go nice. right up to the edge. Do, 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 do. Very stealthily. Okay. Man. Investigate. As plus an 8. So 22 again. Oh, 23, sorry. All right. Let me pull up the character sheet here. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, perfect. You are... Okay, so... Uh, roll me through what you did exactly again. I just snuck up and investigated it. Okay, investigation check. You are able to see a huge gray ooze. And I will post the character sheet in my channel because your investigation check was very good, very thorough. Um, what's your intelligence? You're just like regular intelligence. See how book smart you are? 14. Mm, okay. You know enough about huge gray oozes to be able to provide the following information. I, again, I posted it in the channel, so you all kind of are able to... For example, it has 152 hit points, challenge level 8, so this thing's pretty beastly. question is, what are you going to do now that you've snuck up on it? And it's it, kind of in this thing, it's not really out yet. Uh, I'm going to back away sneakily and let you guys know what I know, because it did not load. I don't have that book. All right, so we all have like a little powwow over here. What are we going to do? I kind of want to kill it. It's my duty as a cleric to cleanse evil from this place. Sounds more like the duty of a plumber, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Looks like a bunch of used toilet paper. Oh, what do we know about oozes? Is anyone, what is that going to be like, arcana or anything? Uh, condition immunities, blinded, charmed, deafened, exhaustion, frightened, or prone. So they're kind of hard to disable. Damage resistance is acid, cold, and fire. Magic Ooh. will have a pretty hard time hitting it. It gets a plus two to stealth. It can turn invisible. Yeah, it can turn invisible. Uh, it has uh, blind sight also, so... Uh, it's kind of hey, hard to mess. Yeah. Um, it can change its appearance. Oh, it has corrode metal, but that's only for non-magical stuff. But, you you know, if so if you hit it with, or if you're not wearing magic armor yet, that might kind of suck for you. False appearance, enlarge, invisibility, multi-attack, and pseudopod. Damn, I think it's got a lot going on. Right? Yeah. So this basically is a boss. We have discovered a boss room and a boss. Now we just, I don't know, do we want to spring it? Well, I would assume it? if we do, the other two grates will probably open up as well. Three. You think there's anything in those bones? The pile of bones? Like any... Oh, yeah. Anything? We could, uh, we could search them. Like... But look, his investigation tells you that... I'll go ahead and put it here. 
that area, but basically, is where we don't want to walk. Okay. It will it will uh, screw us up if, if well the boss will come out basically. I did notice some cages on the other side of the room, yeah. which is a little awkward. So I'll roll for investigation. I'm going to do it on the whole room, avoiding that area. Investigation zero. Okay, I finally figured out how to make this thing work. Sorry, I've been kind of checked out. I'm just like, this was driving me oh, nuts. That's all though. good. Okay, 17. Not bad. I'm able to get over to here. And as I approach, investigate this. Okay, I'll roll. See, one, two, three. If any of these are sixes, we find a green item. No sixes. This is how much gold we find in the piles of bones. 1,200 gold each. All right. That's nice. So far, about enough for two green items. Okay. So we did that. A little bit of free treasure from the room. What else is there? 40 feet. Hmm. All right, so what's the plan? Because I have a, a way that might work really good on slimes. I have a spell called Slow. I imagine they're not very fast to begin with. And mm -hmm. it, it'll affect like pretty much the whole room. So if we want to try to get this thing to come after us, I can slow it and we can try to kill it from a range, maybe? That's a great idea because its speed is only 10 feet per turn. So you Yeah, it God, its down speed will basically feet. be... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a great wanna, idea. We also want to make sure we watch behind us in case those other smaller grates open up. Yeah, yeah we got to be careful where we're pulling them. Um, I say maybe we can get over like in this corner, and then I slow the room, and anything coming into the room will kind of have an advantage because they really won't be able to get to us. If this is a corner safe, I, I'll investigate it. Or did okay. we already check it? Uh, we Yeah, we had the rogue sneak up and give it a very okay. thorough investigation. So we know exactly where it is and ex all of its weaknesses and strengths. I also uh, want to make sure we watch the uh, ladder, make sure nothing comes down. Yeah, it might call for backup. Although oozes are actually incredibly stupid. They have a one intelligence. So, so They're basically just instinct moving yeah. around and consuming anything in their path. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and if we're going to do safe zones, uh, we could split into two that way. Yeah, you, you go with one, I go with the other. So we have a tank with each. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. So who are the two tanks? The paladins. Okay, good. You're over yeah, there. Sure the pal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then the, we can surround it like that. Three, three groups, one, one DPS in the back and two parties both protected by a paladin or a tank. That's a pretty good strategy. Now we just got to figure out how to get it out of there. Well, do you want to be in the middle of that hallway if those other grates open? Uh, You'll be flanking Yeah, because where y'all two are is kind of where I was thinking about putting the slow to kind of block that hallway. Oh, so okay. Like in one group. Yeah. On each corner. So I'll, I'll go over here then. Because it's, it's a 40 feet circle, so it'll it'll cover a pretty big section of the room. Okay, how about this setup? We got the tank and the DPS in one corner, and then the other party over here with a tank in this corner. Is that better? For your I'll warn you, though. I get a little shaky when it comes to actual fighting, apparently. <laughs> okay. Are you the one with the sword, the possessed sword? Yeah. Okay. No. Not possessed, uh, but I just okay, can't roll the, the, the magic that. item. Yeah. The broken sword, right? On the paladin? Yeah, that's, that's me, yeah. 
Oh, okay. I was thinking of I was thinking of you. Why do you get shaky? Because my rolls are bad when it comes to combat, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember yesterday I only got one hit? I smell I smell some twenties coming, so <laughs> <laughs> I smell them. All right, so I think we're good as far as positioning, right? Are we all comfortable with this? Now we just yep. need to figure out how to spring that thing out of there. Does anyone uh, have any ranged like spells? I have a crossbow. I, I really only have like crowd control stuff. I don't really have much damage. Uh, I I have a ranged spell I could use to draw it out, and then I'm I'm gonna have to deal with melee after that. Okay. Oh, so, I have spiritual weapon. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, oh, let's you do, could send let's that in. That. Yeah, I have spiritual weapon. Let's do that. It's I can cast it thirty feet too. So and they can move each round too. So yeah, and, and there aren't they like ethereal stuff? Can't yeah, they're, they're force. Like... It's force damage. I think so. It's uh, like very few things are going to be immune to it. And I don't think it's it's subject to like corrosion or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to summon it about there. I'm going to ready my spell for. Whenever something pops out, that's when I'll put the slow zone down. Okay. All right, I summoned my spiritual weapon. I'm now going to slowly walk it over and trigger the fight, and then we'll do initiate initiative right here. So that boss is about to pop out. I'll, I'll go ahead and put my spiritual weapon up first, I guess, since it's right there. And then we'll roll. Um, plus one, not bad. All right. Let's see what, what time is it here? It's almost one. Uh, do you guys mind if I uh, take a quick break before we do this fight? Yeah, no problem. I, I just, I, I just yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going good. right through me, so I'll be right back. Five minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking coffee too. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh my coffee while we're taking a quick break. <laughs> I'm drinking canned coffee though. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not quite sufficiently caffeinated, so. <laughs>
All right, Steve was back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm back as well. Welcome back. All right, now I just need to do the initiative turn order here. Okay. Everything mm -hmm. checks in order. Okay. Seven. I rolled eighteen, so I think no. Nope, Brockets first. So you are the first one. Uh -huh. And then me, and then Sea Storm. Who I'm is... actually at twenty-one. Who yours? Oh, okay, so you're first. Okay, and then I guess that's everyone. Abram, what did you roll? I had. Uh, looks like. Let's see. Where are you? Five. I'm uh, oh, okay. kind of holding back to see what's going on before I commit to any particular course of action to make sure I'm as effective as possible. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now my hammer's going to... My spiritual weapon's going to get to go first. Well, first I should probably... Reveal this guy. Okay, the boss comes out. He's facing this way. Nice. Let me move him, me move him just for a sec second here. So we can see what's going on. There. Okay, and... Um, so I'll just roll for my spiritual weapon attack really quick. Because I basically had it ready to hit him as soon as he came out. Um, da -da -da -da. So... Do you want my spell to go off first? Because it'll have lower AC. Um. Yeah, because we had that plan. So yeah, let's do yours. Let me first. put it in the in the chat so you can see what all it does. Okay. And it'll be right about this area. Forty feet diameter. You want me to just leave that there? Yeah. Um. Yeah, if you can. Eventually, you're going to have to, you know, off-click it. But, oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, just everyone remember how far that is. You know, and here, I can actually put some markers. That's a good idea. I will do a perimeter. So make the thing again, if it'll let you. And yeah, as soon as I click away, you're right. Oh. So right make it again, here. and then I'll put some markers around the edge. Hammer, white... We'll do the blue ones. Now, after I cast it, we can go in it. It's just uh, what's in yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I just we'll want to make keep a wisdom the edges. save. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to mark the edges a bit here. So I guess technically, if there is anything in the smaller grates, they'll have to make the wisdom save as it goes off too. Okay. Good to know. So okay, now you can turn it off. All right. And I'll turn build mode off. Okay. So you all can see that blue circle, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, everything in there is slowed. Uh, and does that include my... Well, I guess my spiritual weapon would be immune? Yeah, it's not a uh, creature. It's an object, so... Yeah. Very cool. Our slimes are count as creatures, right? Huge yeah. ooze on the line. Okay. Um, they're aberrations. Yeah. All right, let's see. So I got a roll for my spiritual weapon. That's what I was doing. Spiritual weapon. Hit DC. Is six. Oh. Um, it's not, well, let me check his AC. 
the his AC is eight. So, so I do hit him. Okay. And before or after the minus two? <laughs> uh, or did you do the wisdom save yet? Uh, I did not do the wisdom save. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm trying to do too much at once. So, here. so the, all the effects are half speed, minus two AC, uh, and can only use either. A, or can't use reactions, but can only use an action or bonus action, not both. He rolled a 15. Oh, shoot. He beat it. <laughs> Meets it, no. beats it. It's a DC 15. Shit. Well, he rolled a 15, so he beat it. Um, and is that a sphere or just like an area on the ground? It's actually a cube. Okay, a cube. But I did a sphere because most everything yeah. is usually spheres. There's not really a cube r ruler either. You'd yeah. have to draw it with the lines. But Okay, so he passes. I'm not going to roll for anything else. Um, that's him. So now it's the boss's turn. Am I forget? Let me know if I'm forgetting anything, because I'm trying to do like a couple things at once here. So, yell at me if you need to. Uh, he has a lot to do. Uh, multi attack. He can't attack my spiritual weapon, right? He's too dumb to know that. So he's just gonna like crawl over it in an attempt to eat it, and then kind of sit there. And which takes us to the the elf archer. Um, sea storm. I think the thing's going to be surprised when you attack it with that spiritual weapon next round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say, I don't have a crossbow. I got daggers, though. Yeah, you could throw a dagger. So, um, probably need to move. There? Did you get a good line? Yeah. So... And it's plus seven to hit. Wow, fourteen. Fourteen hits. You you only got to beat an eight, so he's incredibly easy to hit. What kind of arrows are you using? Dagger. Dagger. What kind of dagger is it? Uh, says so dagger. Okay, I don't think you're going to be getting it back. Is why I'm asking because he has corrode metal. So once you throw it, getting it out of him was pretty much... I mean, you could try. It's a negative one penalty, it's a negative five, and then it keeps going until the weapon is destroyed. So just yeah, I'm probably going to lose it this, this round. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's about all I got is a range attack. <laughs> okay. So, it's damage. just a regular dagger, so we can look at you a nice yeah. one later. <laughs> So eight damage plus sneak attack is four d six. Okay. So I did eight sixteen total. Sixteen. Uh, let me get my calculator out. These have one hundred fifty two health, so minus sixteen. Have you ever tried out the uh, encounter uh, generator in D and D Beyond? Uh no, I haven't tried that yet. I'm pretty Check new with D and D Beyond. Yeah, because you can it's in beta, but you can actually like if you pre-build the encounter, um, you know, it, it, you, it's got all the the stat blocks, and you click on it, you can do the same like clicking for their attack and bringing it over into Tailspire. Um, oh. It'll like automatically order everybody on the basis of their initiative, so you can you know you you have the order right in front of you and stuff. So it, it's definitely worth trying out. Oh, because yeah, Beyond it... the Spire works on everything, even monster stuff. Yeah, it yep. does. That's what I use for it. But it would be nice to have it organized into a campaign. If you whip up a quick YouTube video about it and post it in a school channel, I would love you forever. Sure, no problem. I'll, I'll do that sometime this week. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's see. So um, anything else besides the dagger throw? Uh, nope, that's about all I can do. <laughs> okay. So... The other slimes are going to pop out now. So let me reveal them. This one is going... They can only move 
10 feet. So he's going to start inching towards you. That ends his turn, which takes us to Brockett. Brockett. He probably fell asleep. He hasn't gone in a while. Oh, no, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I, I just I'm muted on when it's not my turn. Uh, let's see. I do the same thing. Yeah, I should. I don't. I like burp and cough into my mic. <laughs> yeah, I do push to talk, but it I use the uh like the tilde key, and so I end up with all these weird uh, characters in my notes. Oh yeah, I do the same thing when I do push to talk. I use the tilde key. <laughs> uh, since it failed, I'm going to use another level three slot and try to re-slow it with the new one now. Okay. So wisdom save on both of them. Fifteen. Let's see here. Wisdom is negative two. Sixteen. He passes again, but we'll do it on the other one here. Oh, the thing is rolling so good for having such low wisdom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta pull up the regular great ooze now. <laughs> the other one is like a who's your daddy gray ooze. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh regular gray uses challenges only one half, so they're they're they only have twenty two hit points. They're pretty easy to kill. And they have the same wisdom problems, so Okay, that one failed. So he's now down to five what so it cuts it in half, right? The speed's in half or speed's in half. Okay. Loses two AC and can only do one thing a turn pretty much. All right, so he's basically super slow now. Uh, Brocket, go ahead. Uh, I'll just move up a little bit. And okay. I don't have any bonus actions to use, so that's it. Okay. The other slam's going to come out here. Move up to there. Um, since he's inside the circle, does he have to make the same throw now? Is or is it? Like he would have. He would have needed to make it when he, like at the start, when I first okay. caught it. Yeah, it's not because like it's a concentration. A, yeah, it it goes through everything. It's like a slow area. So even if he was under the grate, he should have rolled already. All right, I'll roll for him now. Then, just to see here. Okay, he fails too, so he's slow as well. So that means he only came out about this far. Good use of the slow spell there. That takes it to me. I'm going to tank. I'm going to do my job here. What can I get to? I can get to this one. Yeah, I can take care of that one if you want, and you can head up to the other one. Uh, okay, I'll... Go up this way then. And I'm going to move my spiritual weapon next to me now. Okay, uh, what else can I do? Bonus action, I already cast spiritual weapon, so. You can have your spiritual weapon attack. Yeah, I'm going to do that after I see see if there's anything else. Because I have a lot of like weird utility items, too. Oh, I, I'm going to use my breath weapon. Nice. <laughs> um, action once per short rest. Cone of DC 14, half damage on success for cold damage. Oh, nice. You got cold damage? Yeah, because I'm a silver dragonborn. That should be good. So I gotta make him roll DC fourteen Constitution. I actually think they have pretty decent Constitution. Sixteen, yeah, plus three. It's gotta be. Oh, dude, he fucking crit me. Critical fail, but I still get to roll for half the damage. So. Did he? Half damage on success, so 2d6 gold damage. Well, actually, I can cast this at 6th level, so it's 3d6. 
there's that 20 youth in that one. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> so nine cold damn divided by two, so that was going to be like four because you round down. Yep. Four damage, and that ends his turn, so then I go to my spiritual weapon. Which I'll just attack with since it's right on top of it. I'm just going to attack with it. Uh, Force damage. Uh, so I do five over force damage to it. Let me keep track of that. Four plus five, nine total. Okay, that ends that, which takes us to Wandering Eyes. All right. Uh, I'm just going to run over to this guy. Okay. And then... Second... I am going to use my arm blade and that roll for and then wait, does that hit? I don't uh, think so. You gotta you gotta beat eight. So yeah, that actually does hit. Oh sh okay. Uh then I will roll for my uh piercing. Okay. Nine. Nine damage, okay. Is that a regular short sword? It's an arm blade, but yes. it's Alright, it corrodes your metal. Yeah. So now you have I, uh... the negative one penalty to damage rolls from now on. And it stacks, so... Each time it does. Uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a few yeah. other things I can use in the meantime. Okay. And uh, I suppose. Oh, oh, actually, yes. Um, as my sneak attack says, once per turn, I can deal extra forty-six damage to one creature okay. that you hit. So uh, let me roll that. Sneak attack for the win. Sixteen plus nine that kills it. Nice. Okay. It only has twenty-two health, so he's like blah 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 blah. All right. Well, then I, uh, I guess that's it because uh, I don't think I can move anymore. Yeah. Okay. Takes us to Abram, the Yon Tai. All right. Well, uh, looking like you guys got that one tied up over there. This other little one's here, so I'm gonna just draw. Let's see. Five, ten. See how far I can move here. Okay, so I can go five, ten. Oh, I'm trying to move the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I will let's see, that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. And uh I will stop uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go and take the dash action. I'm gonna move all the way up. Okay. Adjacent adjacent to it. Um and uh yeah i guess that'll be it for this round but i'm just i'm definitely kind of like positioning myself in front of it to uh draw its attention of uh, whatever type of attention it has and uh <laughs> anything else that was my bonus action so nope that's it for me all right he's going to, it's the boss now he's going to use pseudopod uh there we go. And let's see Okay, is it? Well, never mind. I was just asking if it was, you can pivot the character, but I can just move him away and back. Uh, I could roll to 13. What's your AC? Uh, my AC is 20. Okay, so he misses you. Okay. 
Mm. And do I have to worry about like if it actually contacts me but doesn't do damage? Do I still have to worry about my armor or negative? It's, it's just if it damages me, then I have to. It's an issue. Mm. Yeah. So he is going to use amorphous. The ooze can move through his space as narrow as one inch wide without squeezing. And he's going to revert back down into his little hole here. Oh, can I use my reaction to take an opportunity attack as he yeah. squeezes away? Okay. I will uh, use um, my Warcaster feet, and I will do a, uh, a booming blade for my opportunity attack. Okay. So, I'll walk us through Booming Blade as well. I, that's, I haven't heard that one in a while. Yep. So uh, basically that the act of casting the cantrip is um, making an attack with my weapon. So I will make an attack roll. If I hit, I do an extra D8 thunder damage. Uh, and oh, then nice. If, and then if it moves, it takes an extra 2D8 thunder damage. Okay. And given that it's moving and not really smart, I'm hoping it's gonna we're going to get that extra on him too. So let's start off with my attack roll. With the broken blade. Hit AC 26. Yeah. Definitely slaps. So yeah. it's going to take uh, nine slashing damage. Okay. And. There we go. And another D8 thunder damage. So four more thunder damage, and if it continues to move away, it'll take another 2D8 thunder damage. Okay, yes, it will. It moved far enough down in it for you to do that. So that's another 14 thunder damage. Okay. And everybody's ears are probably ringing from the sounds of <laughs> thunder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I imagine it's kind of like a double yes. thunderclap. Like when I hit it the first time, there's like the boom, and then as it yeah. moves away, there's like a swirl of energy around it that explodes again. What are you unclogging the pipes? <laughs> we are plumbers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, character is like you know we're underground in a sewer, right? That was loud as hell. Don't forget Stacker the spiritual the opportunity yeah, right. attack. I, I mean, I oh, yeah, attack. Yeah. That would really that would really be. Uh, um, that would really be uh, cleaning the drains if I had an acid attack instead of the thunder. <laughs> oh, almost max damage. I get to hit it too with my spiritual weapon. So I bonk it as it's going down into the drain. Minus another seven. Okay. Uh, which takes us to the... Uh, Archer is Sea Storm. <laughs> I can get up to it. And I will attack. My plus one sword. Okay, nice. Your your plus one sword will not take damage from the acid. Yeah. And it's plus four. Oh yeah, and my uh, my blade is good too, it's my packed weapon. Uh, it it's uh, so it it would have been immune to then. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Two, three damage. Three damage. And I don't, I don't think I will get sneak attack on this one. Since I'm no, the only one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And bonus action disengage. That takes us to this slime. He can only move five feet. So he's going to try to chase you. Yeah. All right, which takes us to Rocket, the uh, the other cleric of order. I remember this time, cleric of order. Yeah. Um, the guy who just attacked the slime. Do you have a ranged weapon? Because I see it on your mini, but not unless uh, there's a dagger over there that somebody can pick up. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, because I wish you would have kept fighting this thing. I would have had you kill it. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. In that case, I'm going to come over to my friend over here who killed this one and cast Mending on his sword to fix it up. Oh, nice. 
think hey, things got kind of long. Finally, think- someone gets the mending spell. That's the first time I've ever seen anyone use that, dude. That's the first time I've ever seen it. Something's broken. Let me fix it. (laughs) Might as well. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know where the big one went, so then I'm just going to be on high alert after that. Maybe I'll back back up because it could come through any of those grates. Yeah. Okay. Uh, So Uh, it could pop up through the other grates, too? Maybe. I'm just taking a guess. I don't know. I mean, we'll that's see. good. I never thought about that. That's a yeah, good... The uh, amorphous yeah. condition, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ability, I need to move. Yeah. I need to move. <laughs> yeah, My stay clear of the was... Grade. I'm going to actually run up to the grate and cast... What do I got? Yeah, I got some protection spells. Um, spells, action... Resistance on myself. Uh, touch one willing creature before the spell ends. The target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to one saving throw of its choice. So I'm going to cast that on myself. Uh, is that con- Yeah, it is concentration. So if he hits me, I'll have to roll for it. My magic weapon's going to... How far can these move? I always forget. 30 feet, I think. Da, 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 action. Spiritual. There you are. Movement. Oh, 60 feet. Well, that's the range for casting it. The weapon. 20 feet. Up to 20 feet. Okay, so he was here. So now he's going to go here. Clear these dice, and then we're back at Wandering Eyes. Um, I have a question. I have mm-hmm. a piece of chalk. Do you think <laughs> okay. are um are slimes dumb enough to where you think if I drew something to attract it on the floor instead of mm-hmm. being attracted to us? Do you, would that work, or, or or do you think that they would, would actually know? Dumb. It would be too stupid. It wouldn't. It's only attracted to like your living flesh. So. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. I was just trying to be creative with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely cool. I like to see that. Yeah, something. Yeah, cool idea. I mean, um, it might want to go clean it off because, like, that's what slime is—is is dungeon cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna back up a little bit, but I'm gonna stick on this uh, on this sewer over here. Okay. Just just in case, and uh, I, that's it for me. All I can't right, do anything. This is to the to the paladin. All right. Uh, any sign of this thing coming back up this uh, this grate? Uh, roll for perception. Yes, yeah, I was about to say maybe you could hear it or feel the vibrations. Yeah. Oh, uh, apparently not. <laughs> it's, too, it's too loud. There's too much going on. You can't. Really yeah, I'm, I'm partially deafened from my uh, booming blade. <laughs> Oh, that's true. true. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's <true>. deaf. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm going to let's see. That one's done. Yeah, I'm just gonna get opposite uh, here, and just in case it's coming back up, that way we have okay. it up on the other side. And also from here, I can see the other grates. So that'll that'll do it for me. All right. Okay. It is going to mm-hmm. So out of curiosity, do you have like an under layer here that you can view that's like you're moving them around in or is it kind of like theater of the mind for that? Uh, yeah, there is if I, if I hit tab, um, the, I can see hidden things and traps and markers and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, that's one of the best things about building in Tailspire is there's like a GM mode, a player mode, and uh, I think there's like a, a second GM. You, you can make other people GMs as well. Uh, okay, so now that I moved him, I'll make him reappear. Ba-doop. 
he does pop up. I was moving him through the grates, so you guys were able to figure that out pretty quick. Um, he pops up, but he's still slowed, I believe. How how long does that slow last? Because it's been about one turn, so six seconds for each person. Uh, the boss passed. Only the little one was slowed. Oh, that's right. He passed. He's not slowed, so yeah. he's going to move up a whole whopping ten feet on top of the other little one. And absorb the little one. I was just going to ask if they become one slightly bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. <laughs> he might he just heal them. To... Yeah, yeah, that's what it's going to do. It's going to bring back some of his health. Uh, he's at 93, so I'm going to add 20 to that. He's now at 113. Okay. This is just going to ruin my clothes. <laughs> Uh, and does he have, they don't, they don't have any range or anything. False appearance and large. Uh, that's kind of, for one minute, the ooze magically increases in size. While enlarged, the ooze is gargantuan, doubles its damage dice with pseudo attack and makes strength checks and strength saving throws with advantage. So he's going to cast that in large. I guess he can do that. And then... He can only pick one of those, right? Because, see, this is above action. So it's hard to tell if these things can be... Because, like, he could cast Invisible then, right? It was magically turns Invisible for up to one hour until it attacks. Enlarge and Invisible. Okay. Well, I'm going to knock this one down so we remember it. Okay. So he's now invisible, but he's like right next to you, so you can kind of tell he's still I have, there. I have true sight for 10 feet around me. Ah, so you can still see him. In that case, I will reveal him. So you can still see him. Okay. Uh, that ends the boss's turn and takes us to the... I really should give you a different figure because you don't have a bow. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to pick one up after this. <laughs> okay, good. You just might get a reward from this boss to get a bow. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> um, since he thinks I can't see him. Oh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I will bonus and disengage. I, I will spewed my coffee. <laughs> Can I free action and say, stay in there and fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that. And the point to him the whole time, so you guys know where he's at. Okay. okay. So you guys I think have I a my dagger. idea here. I'll just say that his invisibility failed. He tried to turn invisible, and he, he, everyone could see him too much. So we saw right through it. We saw right <laughs> through his eyes. We, we see we see that dagger floating in midair. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, it's all bubbling and s sizzling in the ass. <laughs> All right, okay. that takes us to Brocket. I need someone who can attack it. <laughs> uh, who has a ranged attack? I'll be Anyone? right there. I know. Okay, I can hold action, right? I have a ranged attack. I have a crossbow right here. It's a plus one crossbow. I'm going to walk nice. over to you. I'm going to cast aid on uh, you, the paladin, and the guy close to it. And then I'll tell you to shoot it. <laughs> okay, and so okay. that's what what level are you casting that at? Is it an extra five points or ten points to my It's gonna be an extra ten points. I'm gonna do nice. level three. Alright. Sweet beans. Um, and then so... because of my subclass one creature of my choice, I can command to use the reaction to make an attack. Okay. Oh well I only had to be eight, so I do hit it. Yeah. <laughs> this will be piercing damage. A hey, dirty eight, dirty max damage. Um, so aid with benefits. <laughs> aid with benefits. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so minus eight. All right. Um, takes us. That slime is dead. Takes it to me. I'm going to use the dash action 
to get up behind it, so now I'm flanking it. If someone attacks in the front, I'm in the back. Take it to my magic weapon. Can move up to 20 feet. All right, I'll whack it with this. Spiritual weapon. Mute. Oh, max damage. Max force damage. Nice. Okay. Wandering eyes. Okay. Uh, I can only move about 30 feet, and I already measured it out, so it's it's about here. You can dash. dash. You could dash if you want. How far can I rogue to go with dash? It's Double just your again. movement again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, just do it. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, then I'll do that. And hey, that's, if you... Uh, if when you select your mini, uh, hit the map tool M and press four, and you can like measure. It's like a lot easier. So you gotta. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or or if you click on the menu in the bottom. No. Yeah, in the menu, right. uh, after you have that, make sure the number four option is highlighted. You can either press four on the keyboard or click the little guy, and okay, then whenever you pick up your mini, yeah, it'll automatically measure your movement. Oh, yeah. that's handy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I didn't know that. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Makes it so much easier. They nice. added that about a couple weeks ago. They it's like relatively new. Yeah, okay. it's the best thing so far. <laughs> yeah, nice. for all playing right. anyway. <laughs> well, then uh, I guess I end my turn because that's all I can okay. do. Okay. Takes us to Abram, the mighty paladin. All right, I'm gonna move up thirty feet. That I now know is exactly thirty feet because of that handy tool. <laughs> <laughs> and, I always uh, like measure before my turn to make sure. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's what we had so, to use. That's what we used to do. I still do it sometimes. Uh, all right, I run up and I'm going to attack with another booming blade attack. All right. Cover my ears. Yeah, right. Me too. Boreas knows what's up. He's going to cover his little dragon ears. Oh, that really wanted to be a 20. It, it really did. You it still couldn't. beat it. You still oh, that's right. It. I did by one. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I slip a little on, like, the slime trailer left behind, but still managed to connect. So Okay. So we've got <laughs> five points oh, of slash damage. minimum damage. <laughs> well, you are attacking him with a broken sword. Yes. It was ended. Right. We're gonna have to but it transfer also that does, to a new sword for you. Does another <laughs> two points of thunder damage, and if it moves, it'll take two d eight. All right. How much thunder damage was it? It was two. So nice. five slashing, two thunder. Okay, he's at one ten now. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. You got his attention. Um, he's going to cast Pseudopod. And he has Enlarge on. So let's see. For one minute, the use magically increases Enlarge. Double its damage dice for Pseudo Attack. And makes strength checks and strength saving throws with advantage. So plus seven to attack. Let's see if this gets you. No. Nope. All right. That's really all he can do except his other abilities that he already used. So um, he's not. He's too far from the grate to really use Amorphous. So that ends his turn. Takes us to the rogue. And is he flanked or is he too big? He's flanked. Yeah. Nope. So 18. Oh, yeah. 10 plus 1. Okay. Um, so 6. And then my sneak attack, 46.
And another 13. And it's 13. Okay. It's down to 91. So if slimes could bleed, uh, he's getting close. Not quite there yet. It's now losing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, clear these dice, and now it is Brocket, the uh, Cleric of Order. All right, I like seeing them rogue sneak attacks, so let's do it on my turn. Uh, <laughs> is anyone... No one's hurt yet, right? Let's see. No, I'm good. Good. Yeah, he's he keeps missing his attacks. He's missed twice now, so... <laughs> All right, I just got to find a spell to target him with real quick. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Your bless might have ran out. I'm gonna go ahead and bless this again, and then okay. let the rogue attack with bless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my so bless I'll... definitely ran out. It was only for a minute, so I'll just use a regular bless. And how many? Pe it affects all of us, right? Yeah. And then I target the rogue specifically to get to attack again as a reaction. All right, rogue, take it away. Thank you. I'll even move it back a sec for you. Don't forget Ooh. to add your blessed D4. Yeah, add D4 to that. I've also got plus four to it too, so. All right, so it. Oh, you're good it, then. <laughs> it hits, yeah. yeah. And then one D10 and four. Oh, and you're in your flanking. You get advantage. Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and roll damage because I already got it now. Well, I was going to say you might crit. You should roll yeah. to see if you crit. That'd be so sick if you did. Ah, just fourteen. <laughs> All right, fourteen damage. Okay, fifteen. Sorry, 15 that's nice. That's minus good. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Now it's bleeding. Maybe your dagger will ooze out of the uh, wound. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that dagger's probably gone by now. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> been too many cool times. Souvenir. That's true. Be a yeah. Paperweight, <laughs> right? <laughs> just little pieces floating around. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> All right. What is uh, this pitted, vaguely dagger-shaped object? <laughs> well, that's a story. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Brockett, was there anything else you wanted to do? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, that takes us to that slime is dead. Takes it to me. I'm going to hit it with my mace, which... If you guys remember, for those who were with us at last game, we got to buff a weapon of our choice with the blacksmith. You remember that? Yep. Okay, so I added just more radiant damage because I already had a 1d6 of radiant damage on this mace. So now it's 1d6 plus 1d4 radiant damage. All nice. Right? And it's also a... Let me get to my sheet here. It's a plus one, so plus seven to attack. That hits. I have advantage because we're flanking. I was so hoping for a 20, but okay. Uh, so wait, that's the crossbow. No, don't do that. Mace plus one. There we go. So that's the first damage, six to so now. Plus this in radiant damage. So 11 total damage. Minus 11. Not bad. I got a pretty good DPS for a healing cleric. Minus 11. Double digits. I mean, okay, he's at 65 now. And that ends my turn. Spiritual weapon. Bonus action. There it is. Okay. Seven. Nice. So I hit him again. So that plus my. 11, so a total of 18 damage. That's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> and seven. Okay, that ends my turn and takes us to Wandering Eyes. All right, it's my turn again. 
All right, I'm just going to go ahead and move up. Already measured. Oh, there it's right there. Uh, I can hit within five feet, so... I'm going to use my uh, short sword now. Well, I guess I can use... Yeah, yeah I'm going to use my short sword. Just the uh, regular one? The regular short sword? Yes. Okay. Corrosion. Uh, that should be enough to hit him, right? Yeah. I think I just need an eight. So, and then um, yeah, you gotta beat an eight. And then I have my piercing roll. Okay. All right. Oh, just and as a note for everybody, oh, just as uh, to try and remember, if you're within ten feet of me, you get plus four on all of your saving throws. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. And you also have resistance to damage from spells if you're within ten feet of me. Yeah. And now I have a sneak attack roll. Twenty. Oh, nice. <laughs> Pretty good damage, and, man. And uh, that's it. I'm going to end my turn. Okay. It should be down to like 40. Yeah, minus, 40 it was at 58, so minus 20... Minus nine. Uh, okay. Not that. Twenty-nine. Uh, lower than I was thinking. He's getting there. We're, we're well. We surrounded him. Now we're just wailing on it. <laughs> Tank and spank, man. Um. Anything else, wandering eyes? I think that was. He did a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. That was it for me. Okay, Abram, go ahead. Finish him. Uh, all right, going for another attack. Okay. Let's see. An 11. 11 hits. So that's what we like. Oops. Yeah. On that. And the thunder damage, so 10 points of slashing, uh, another 8 points of thunder, and again, if it moves, which it doesn't look like it's going to, it would take some more. Um, and that's it for me. Okay. Uh, how much damage total was it? A uh, total of 18. Minus 18. Ooh, dude. He only has 11 hit points left. He looks... Well, he's too dumb, really, to even know he's dying. So he's just kind of slower and more damaged looking. But that's it. Which takes us back to his turn, actually. Giant slime. I'm still, like, after I hit him this last time, I'm, like, waving my sword around, trying to continue to draw his attention. Okay. But, uh, he's going to use pseudopod on you. 23, does that hit? Uh, it would, except I'm going to use my reaction to cast shield. Nice. <laughs> so, oh, so very as good it shield. As it lashes out and it's about to strike me, uh, I, I, uh, I kind of like gesture uh, with my shield hand, and you guys just see like a little pulse of like silvery light kind of flash into being around me as it deflects its pseudopod. Oh, dude. Okay, you straight up prevented his pseudopod attack then. Uh, yeah. The Grey Ooze can make... Oh, dude, this whole time I could have been making two. I didn't know Giant Grey Ooze had multi-attack. He can hit with pseudopod twice. But your shield would still block it, even if it was Well, it, it lasts for... It, I mean, you can attack again. I mean, it, I have a plus five to my AC for the rest of the round, but if he rolls high enough, he could hit me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Just, oh, God, this poor boss, he's like, no wonder I suck. Alright. <laughs> well, poor poor Ooze, you suck because you suck, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you suck because you suck. Alright, that takes his turn, that takes us back to the rogue. Alright. And... 
So nine, the nine plus seven, be, 16. 16 hits. I think you're going to kill him. One, two, three, four. Oh, just as a note, I used my uh, pact slot for that shield spell. So 14. You killed him. You killed yeah. him. For taking my dagger. <laughs> well done. Yeah, that was a good fight. That lasted longer than I thought it would. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I like. Nice. I, I think I'm gonna keep it this just the way it was. I think it was just challenging enough. Except next time, I'm gonna remember my multi attack. Yeah, that definitely would have upped the ante on this. Right? Yeah, yeah. We, I think we got lucky. Slimes are dumb. A few more yeah. slimes <laughs> could have come out of the pipe, like towards yeah. the end or something. Because I feel like if he would have stayed on those grids, he would have just kept moving around. So we got lucky he came out. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, let's roll to see what we get from these dudes. So the boss gets one, two, three, and then he has two minions, so a total of five here. Any of these are sixes? Oh, no sixes, no magic items. This is the gold. 1,700 gold each. Nice. So I have enough for Ow. one, two, three, four green items now. I have enough for four green items. Do I still have inspiration from last time? Uh, oh, oh dude, I in forgot inspiration. Uh, no, Let's re-roll because... the loot. Oh. No, no, because <laughs> this it. is kind of like a step. Well, are you playing the same character you did last time? Yeah. Okay, I am then too. yes. That's why then I have yes. it ticked on my character sheet. That's why I'm asking. Yes, you do have inspiration. Which one do you want to re-roll? The greens? Yeah. Or the gold, okay. The greens. Any? No, oh, still no sixes. Uh, Sorry, bro. I'll, I'll use mine. Okay. I'm using the same character. <laughs> We're totally fishing there, for we the... got a six. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, there is a plus so one fun. short bow. Plus one short yes! bow. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just I'm not even going to roll you for it. You, you can have it. You can keep it. Oh, uh, thank you. I'll use my inspiration to reroll for the gold. So, is that higher than the other gold roll? No, it was lower. Yeah. So, we'll keep the 1700. Um, and. Um, oh, okay. And then this one is for the blue item. Since it was a boss of the dungeon, we do get a chance for blue item. Okay. Oh, one, shit. two blue yeah. items, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I didn't even Pretty know sweet. it was going to do that. Drop blues. I would have waited. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, purrs. Bosses always drop blue, and then the final boss of the dungeon, I usually have drop a purple. Ooh. So, um, the Professor but, Plum. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, just it is a battering shield. While well, oh, holding this tower really? shield, you get plus one bonus to AC. The bonus is in addition to the shield's normal bonus to AC. Additionally, the shield has three charges. It regains... Here, I'll post it in the channel. I'm definitely going to roll for it. I uh, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm definitely a shield bearer. But, I mean, if you yeah. need it more, I'm more than happy to let you go go with it. Uh, what uh, do you... I have? I think that's actually one of the things I do need to upgrade. What okay, that's cool. Let me check, let me check. I say roll on it anyway. Steve-O's rich. I have a plus two shield. <laughs> I have a plus two shield. So uh, this one, I don't know if it's better or not. What do you think? I mean, it just depends. I mean, do you, do you want the pure AC or do you want to have the versatility of the battering thing? I mean, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think one's inherently better. Games. but Oh, it recharges at dawn. It requires attunement too. If you're holding the Ooh. shield and push a creature within your reach at least five feet away, you can expend one charge to push that creature an additional 10 feet, knock it prone, or both. Wow, that is broken. That's basically crowd control for a tank. Mm -hmm. A yeah, shield is cool. made from wood or metal, and uh, wielding a shield increases your armor class by two. So it would be a plus three. I will roll for it. All right. Let me see. Luck be a lady tonight. Oh, critical fail. And what do you just like roll 20, like roll a, D, a D20 roll yeah. off? Yeah, if you want it, roll for, roll a D20 for it. <laughs> okay, 14 wins. You get it. Yeah, you uh, hang on to it. I'll tell you what, trade me, trade me your plus two shield and you take this one. Okay, deal. 
deal. Let nice, because I don't have a magic man. shield at all, so that'll be that. That's nice. That's that's an upgrade for me and an upgrade for you. So yeah, that's hey, that's nice, man. Good on you. Hey, teamwork. Yeah. Oh, I'll take us out of. I'll put us back in expiration mode here. Um, and then there's one more blue item. So let's not forget. Uh, so I did armor. Now we're on to this one's going to be a potion. Blue potion. Yeah. Insectals, filter. Are you sure it's Is not it just visible? poisonous ooze? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right? Definitely uh, clean that thing off before you drink it. Yeah. Um, it should be something. Yeah, it is a potion of. No, no, it's got to be blue. It's got to be blue. Hold on, hold on. Rarity, rare, filter. Okay. Well, it's a potion of gaseous form. When you drink this That's potion, cool. you gain the effect of gaseous form spell for one hour. No concentration required. That's pretty Ooh. awesome. How about I'm great for uh, that. Yeah, I'm definitely right. rolling for that. <laughs> Rogue, rogues and people who don't want to get hurt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like an oh shit button. Um, I'll roll for it as well. I had a, a, a main villain in one of my games I ran one time that his oh, oh shit, shit button I got a was 20. A, uh, oh, he had a portable dude. hole that he folded up as a cloak, and then he had a bag of holding at his belt, and his emergency escape would be to flip his cloak open into the portable hole and then drop the bag of holding into it uh, and just end up somewhere <laughs> on the astral plane, but at least he's alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, um, so whoever rolled that 20 gets the potion of gaseous form. Rocket. Nice. Yeah, good job, man. All right. And it's we just already a single use, though, right? Bones. Yeah, it is one. It's All one right. use, but it's a All damn right. good use. That'd be great for a more difficult boss fight. Now, the gold that we won, do we add it ourselves, or do you put it in there? Uh, we add it ourselves, so keep track of it. Okay. I trust, uh, I trust you guys to do it. How much was that? It was like 20... 28. 28? 28 okay. so far, yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. 28. I just add it to my D&D Beyond sheet. Keep track yeah, of it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I wasn't sure. I I usually just count in my head how many green items it gets me. <laughs> I, <kinda> just, <laughs> right, I, just, I just throw away the rest. <laughs> All right. Uh, my character is heading back towards the beginning of the dungeon. I'm going to look down in the grate, see if I can see anything. Um, Any past anything? perception notices something. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? Do you have anything in mind? Just anything that's sparks my interest it's it, it's the same green ooze from the boss it's like this corrosive slimy glowing ooze and you don't see anything else in there can i get a cup from my rations or my mess kit and scoop it be good for the yeah. mayor he looks yeah, okay uh it, you're gonna need like glass or something to hold it in um, and I don't Preferably know. Preferably like cut? a magic vial of some kind. Otherwise, it'll eat through it. Um, ten box contains a cup. It doesn't say what kind of cup. I would say that's not good enough. Okay. It's a pretty volatile substance, so you need more than just a cup. Plus, the cup would be open. You're going to be like walking around with this open cup of corrosive ass. I was thinking at the beginning, <laughs> the entrance. Uh, okay, okay. That um, <laughs> yeah, either way, I don't think it would be enough. You need some sort of magical vial to seal it. Pick up my, my broken dagger pieces. I don't think my character has it. I have like vestments and like religious stuff. I, I don't have anything that would carry it. I wait. Did I get the bottle of endless water? I think that's one of the utility items I got. Ooh, I do have bag, a water skin. Bag of tricks. Uh, decanter of endless water. Uh, immovable rod. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything that could hold it except I could add water to it. That's about the only thing I could do right now. <laughs> I can empty out my water skin and use that. Okay, I'll let you do that. Sweet. 
right. You got 24 hours before it starts to leak and burn your thigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very well-made decanter. <laughs> okay. Also, let's see. Who is it? This The rogue notices a lever here. Nice. Everybody loves a lever. Yeah. He doesn't Any know what gun? it does. He didn't know why it's there, but he notices a lever. Yeah, I'm this. Mm -hmm. What would that be to see what it does? Would it be looking for traps, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Investigating it as a trap would be an excellent idea. Is he going to be strong enough to pull it? Yeah, that too. Plus eight. Plus eight. You definitely succeed in realizing that this is a common mechanism in sewers for opening gates from other ends. So your guess is that this is one of two. There's normally two of them. And once both of them are released uh, or, or turned on, whatever, they will open that. Your guess is the center gate that you saw at the beginning. He's um, like... That you know for, you, you know if you've been around a time or two we're not going to ask how you know how to sneak around in sewers but <laughs> i mean i am a, a pretty thief. good rundown yeah you give us a very good rundown of what this is like you've kind of seen them before see how weak i am ah, yeah, 15 all right you're able to pull it and you hear a uh, locking or unlocking you hear like mechanical sound in the distance and my character came back with you guys to see what was taking so long. I, if I had been up there still, I would have heard it. But I am not. So I'm over here going, what the hold up? What are you guys doing? I'm pulling levers. Pulling levers? Good God, what did it do? It clinked. But I do believe it is for the gate up front. Oh, excellent. Let's go check, shall we? <laughs> my character's had too much coffee. <laughs> walking past the dice, walking past the dice. Admiring my own dungeon handiwork. Um Okay, all the way back in the beginning, I my character does notice Hey, it looks like one of the locks has been removed. Fancy that. Hmm. But the door is still locked. I'm like shaking the door. Oh. I'm gonna check this stairwell real quick while I'm going past it. Okay. Uh, it's just, shouldn't we still be careful of this grate over here? So, could a little slime still pop out of it? Since yes. we didn't uh, activate it the yes. first time. Yes, that is true. I forget if I walked over any of them because I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say that I didn't because I'm <laughs> my character is smart. Um, nope. So we're at this gate. We it's we realized one of the locking mechanisms on the left side is released, but the right is still locked. So we need to find another lever somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sneak my way down here. Yeah. I'm gonna start heading this way. Oh, hey, was looks that like we already got box? some. We got someone up here, so we're gonna expose this. We now All see right. this hallway. Don't step on the grates, or unless somebody wants to use perception. Uh, I'll give it this a shot. section. Give I see some shot. little green guys way up there. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I'm gonna get about this close. So I'm not gonna dare go any further. You zoom in on them. Oh, yeah, they're chicks. That, okay. They're like zombie Plus chicks. Plus two. I don't see anything in the grate, but I can tell that it's glowing like the other ones, so I'm assuming that the green slime is in there. And ahead, our passive perception can actually see them. Those are two banshees. Um, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, Do you think we can this is gonna see start. anything in any of those crates? Or, oh, or, or yeah. barrels? It looks like I there's got to be something. I would be careful, though. How close are you? Yeah, you're within 60 feet. They can see this far. So they are yes. now looking okay. towards you. They're not quite moving yet, but they're looking towards you. We might want to wait on looting. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'll wait. Yeah. Was that uh, a level up boss, sir? We got about 10 seconds before they start coming at us, so we should strategize. Oh, that's a good idea. How much XP was that boss? Oh, that was a... This whole dungeon's going to be a level up milestone. Okay. So okay. W- once the dungeon's done, you can level up these characters. But it doesn't really matter because it's a one-shot. Your that's characters... True. If you play in the campaign games like on Fridays, same time as today, it's just on Friday... That's the one where it's stuff like that carries over and you do quests for the town and stuff. Ah, this okay. is just me testing a map. So eventually in the South Claw campaign, we're going to play on this map again, but I'll probably have it tweaked a little bit. And... Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. So we got two Banshees ahead. I'm going to cast... Uh, we don't. We didn't get a rest or anything. I don't have Bless. Uh, I guess I'm just going to cast guidance on myself do i have yeah i have guidance so it's just one spell target can roll a d4 and we'll casting up to one minute okay it's a one minute so buff on myself okay. are we still within an hour of uh coming in i would say yes yeah okay cool if the enemy walks over the grate does the slime still come out uh, no, the enemies are immune to it. Okay, okay. Good question. All right. Um, I did my action. Anyone else want to ready anything? We got, our characters have 10 seconds. We can kind of see it coming. Ready my crossbow. Since I got right. one now. <laughs> oh, nice. That's right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to clear the turn order here. Are these... Uh... Still humanoid, or does undead they're, like they're override that? Their count is undead. Yeah, their count is undead. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do yet. Then I'll just uh, I don't know. I'll hold off and wait because I'm I don't want to waste the spell. <laughs> all right, let's all roll for initiative here. Da, 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 da. Plus one, mm. nine. Yeah. That's very good. Okay. I'm highest so far? Wow. We got a one and a three. I don't know how I did it, but I'm up there. Okay, there we go. Sea Storm. Who is the Elf Archer? It's going to be up first. That makes sense. You got super high dexterity. Rocket, Ash. Okay, so we're all fighting for last place, basically. If there's a tie, I'd prefer to go last. Okay. Last. Yeah, we're all tied for two. <laughs> Oh, I, so, yeah. All right, I can't use go. my crossbow. I don't Your have no uh, short bolts. Your short was it a short bow? Was yeah, a short it was bow? a short. Oh. It was a plus one short bow that it got dropped. My bad. And and I would include arrows. <laughs> Okay. I, I, in Stevo's games, we don't count um, uh, t- t- ammunition for small ammunition like arrows, bullets, darts. We don't count them. But anything large like throwing axes or daggers, you know, we would count those. Okay. But yeah, just one another thing I don't want to keep track of. Like, who wants to count arrows? <laughs> that shit sucks. So cross right. the light. Yeah. Clear okay. these dice. All right, that's our turn order. Our rogue gets to go first, so go ahead. Ten. Let me pull up the banshee sheet here. Uh, that's a plus eight. Damn, eighteen. They have a AC of twelve, so you womp on them. And one D eight plus five. Okay. 
Sorry if you can hear my dogs. So oh. 11. Oh, 11. Okay. Assuming no sneak attack. Um, I would say that roll for stealth and see if you were successfully stealth beforehand. Because you get your sneak attack if you're stealthed, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, three no. plus eight. Stealth is a plus ten. Plus ten, okay. Three plus ten, thirteen, and sure. I'll give it to you. Okay. Another seven. Okay. So what's the total then? Seven and five. Me bolt plus five. So thirty. Thirty. Damn. She's bleeding. <laughs> she is bleeding. <clears throat> if if they can bleed, it's like black, gross blood. But you did really nasty damage to her. Anything else you want to? I think you already. You want to move? You can move. Well, I guess you were um, stealth, so I don't know how that works. Yeah, I'll stay stealth. Okay. Um, I'm gonna dash right up here, and and end my turn there. Um, oh. actually, as a bonus action, no, that dash is my bonus action. So, hey, didn't you walk over that grate? Oh, dude, I did. I know. Oh, I was monkeys. just sitting there like, no. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was too foolhardy. I was too foolhardy, and I <laughs> triggered it. Luckily, it's See? not too bad. It's <laughs> just a great ooze. But that's on me, man. That's on me. Yeah, I made that mistake when, my, when I led my army into a an ambush. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not good. All right. Um. Well, that ends my turn. I'm getting flanked up here. But at least I'm doing my job. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see if the Paladin can tank better than I did. All right, let's see. Distance Walk around the grate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, no, don't no, run no, over no, the grate! No, 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 don't, don't you drop that mini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Chess rules. You, you have to there take that go. finger on there it. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I dash as well uh, right. to here. So that's uh, that's it for me. Okay. Which of the two is the one that's injured? The one next to me or the one on the other side? Uh, if, 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 if uh, you're looking left, at my back, it's the left one, yeah. Okay. So, all right. Cool. All right. That's good for me. All right. Wandering eyes. All right. Let's see. I'm going to dash. I guess I'll take him out. Let me see. Oh, um, I'm going to use... Can you poison a slime? No, they are immune. Okay, never mind then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I was. I figured you probably couldn't. But Damage, resistance, to ask. acid, cold, fire, immunities. No, you can! You can. Blind, charmed, deafened, exhaustion, frightened, and prone. That's what they're immune to. And resistances are acid, cold, and fire. So you wow. technically could poison one. That's interesting. Uh, I'll do it next time. I'm already in the middle of my okay. roll. So, okay. So I'm able That's to hit. Enough. Yep, you gotta beat an 8. So the slimes are actually not that bad. It's just the corrosion you gotta deal with. And now... My slashing. And uh, I guess you're not flanking him, because I... Well, I'll say you are, because he's distracted by attacking me, so. And that's... Oh, shit, I've skipped my my main roll. I'm sorry. Let me redo that. That's my attack. For oh, the and first. you have advantage. Yes. And so how much is how much damage is that? Uh well, you rolled the four before, right? Yes. 
four plus whatever your do you have anything that adds to that or just four damage? Just the four. Okay. Um takes them down from twenty two to eighteen. Okay, that's all I can do. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end. Okay. That takes us to Brockets. The cleric of order. I'm just gonna go 30 feet and cast bless. Let me check the range real quick though. What is bless? 30 feet? Uh 60. Is it? Uh, is it? Oh, I'm thinking a spiritual weapon. Um, um, I should know this. I cast bless all the time. It's. It, it's. I'm looking at it. It's 30 for me. Yeah. Okay. 30. C- casting range 30 feet. Yep. So I can get us back here and then order the rogue to attack. Okay. Rogue. I'll put it back on you. Wandering. Wandering eyes. Or. Uh. Okay. Um. Well, no, he gets to attack as a reaction. Yeah. Wandering Eyes does? does? No. Oh, was that his Nate character name? Chris. Yeah. Yeah. This one? So uh, what would my reaction... The one who's flanking, yeah. You can use your reaction to make okay. an attack. Okay, so the one... What attack would that one be? Whatever you want. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Rolling for... Attack. Do you have advantage? Ten. And then I have a piercing that goes with that. No, I mean slashing. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you have advantage and bless, so. Yeah, yeah. So roll be another good. d20. See if you get a crit. Damn it. I didn't get shit. So, okay. okay, so I can roll. Uh, so now, now roll a 20? Just to see if you crit, yeah. Yeah, okay. just to see if you crit. Almost Being close. Almost. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. But now for your piercing. Yes. No. The. The one I that rolled was... earlier was oh, for the okay. piercing. Yeah. The okay. the two. Okay. The four or whatever it was. So what? Your total damage was only two again. I yeah. Like you should be doing more damage. Than that. I should, but I'm I'm rolling that that low when it gets to my damage right there. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, now it's down to eighteen. It was at now it's at sixteen. So back over here. So that you you cast a bless and you gave an extra turn. Anything else? Is anyone hurt? Have they not? The enemy's not gone yet. Not yet. They're about to after you. Dang, we rolled like twos. How the? F- <laughs> yeah, right. we haven't we haven't done too much damage. No, nah, then I guess nothing else. All right, that takes us to the Banshees, and you know what they're going to do. You all know what's up. It's going to cast Wail. Banshee releases a mournful wail, provided that she isn't in sunlight, which she is not. The wail has no effect on constructs and undead, so they're immune to it, each other. Uh, All other creatures within 30 feet that can hear her must make a DC 13 constitution saving throw. On failure, a creature drops to zero hit points. <laughs> On a success, oh, the shit. creature takes 10 3d6 psychic damage. So this is a whale of an attack. <laughs> Get it? All right. Um, Boreas, I'm gonna make con- I have good constitution. I should be okay. Unless I roll like dog shit. So anybody within 10 feet of me gets a plus four to their saving throw. Oh, yeah. And Bla- Bless also applies to saving throws, too. Yep. So one, two, little five, constitution 12. Is that what I needed to beat? Or is it 13? Oh, it's 13. I still failed. Four. Okay, what, what does Bless add? A d4. <laughs> yeah, it's, and, for, and, 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 and for me, it's, it's, it's four, not a d4. You get a plus four to your... Uh... To your save from my aura of protection. Okay. I rolled a three. All, and to, all was, together. And this was a con save? Eight, nine, ten, yeah, nine. con save, yeah. So 14 total. Who rolled the three? The paladin? No, I'm rolling right now. So I got a. Th- so mine would be a 17 plus a d4. 
That's a D4. You pass. Paladin passes, thank God. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Um, so, a total of 17, 21 on my save. 21, you save. Uh, wandering Eyes, what did you get? Were you the three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was the three. So, you and me got knocked down to zero health. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, dude, that's how what banshees do, man. Oh, Real wait. Fucking sucks. Don't I have, can't I roll for half? half? Can I roll that's for a... my half? No, oh, I no, have a, it's, I have it's, a... Dude, it's because of whale. It says that on failure, a creature drops to zero hit points. There's oh, nothing man. we can do, man. That's what makes banshees suck. They only have a challenge rating of four, but they're incredibly difficult. They can only do that once, right? They can do it once a day. That's it. But there is two of them. So. Oh, shit. Uh, the only thing I, I can I think... I need to fall uh, over. Remember that we have good berries. All right? You could do that. You could use a healing spell. or I've got lay on the, hands, so I mean, I can always hands. do... I can, I can split that up how I want, so I could do like a point to each of you just to get you up. And you know yeah. I got mass skill word. Y'all are, y'all are going to be all right. <laughs> all right, good, good. I got a potion I can use once I'm up. Okay. Uh, and this one is going to use Horrifying Visage. Each non-undead creature within 60 feet of the Banshee that can see her must succeed on a DC 13 wisdom saving throw or be frightened. So, Mr. Paladin, you got to make a DC... You gotta beat thirteen with your wisdom saving throw. That would include me too, right? Well, no, because you're down on the ground. Oh, it's actually yeah, within sixty feet of range. So yes, Uh-oh. Brocket has to Brocket has to do it as well. But the first one passes. It's wisdom. Yeah, it's wisdom. You gotta beat a thirteen. Wisdom is a plus one. Oh, I did not get that one. Okay, you are frightened. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a charm? No. Frightened, I think you can't move towards the enemy. Let me look it up again. And it is a... Yeah, I think you have disadvantage on. Frightened like, creature attack rolls. has disadvantage on ability checks and on attack rolls while the source of its fear is within a line of sight. The creature cannot willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So you crapped yourself. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was a charm because I got an advantage against them. Okay. Uh, that was just her kind of like passive ability. Now she's going to use Corrupting Touch on Mr. Paladin here. Plus four to hit. Fourteen is not going to make it. Nope. I smack her hand aside with the uh, the plus two shield that I'm now carrying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. And now the... Uh, rogue in the back gets to go. And you do have a new shiny plus one short bow. Yep. And I got a disadvantage, but they're both 17s. Okay. Plus eight. So, 1d8. Reminder for my games if you have height advantage, you can roll with advantage. So, if you climb on those boxes, you'd be able to get rid of a disadvantage, for example. Yeah. I will definitely do that next time. Okay. Let's see. So I add a five. So 18 damage. Okay. And I will definitely do that. Takes it to me. I'm down. I can't do shit. And I don't have any way to heal anybody. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all good. Well, you have good berries. Did you sleep at the bathhouse? No, but I did sleep at the our house. Gives you the same benefit. Right. So you have good berries. You have to be within range, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Is um, uh, Paladin tief- up? Is the tiefling down? Tiefling is up. Brockett's no, up. Uh, he's okay. frightened. 
I'm down. Passed. I rolled like a 19 on my thing. Or the, what was the DC? Yeah. Oh, you definitely beat it if you got 19. Is yeah. that you? Uh, the, you yeah, just, wandering that's eyes. Me. Yeah, wandering eyes. It's me. I rolled an 18. Sorry. Who rolled an 18? I, it was an 18, not a 19. But who? Who is that? I can't. Uh, Bracket. Sorry. Bracket. Okay, you're back here. You're fine. But this okay. the the character with the mimic. Who's that? That's me. Who's me? Eyes. Wandering eyes. Wandering eyes. Okay, wandering eyes. You failed, right? I'm pretty sure you did. Yes. Yeah. So you and I are both down. Okay. Okay. And now we're the paladin. Hopefully, will be able to do something here. I got this. Uh, is it my turn, Rocket? Uh, no, it's Abram. Abram. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So, and I'm sorry, but were you kind of like calling out that I've I've got this as far as like our downed comrades, or would I not oh. know that you're about to do something? Uh, you can do what you want because if they're at zero, they need all the help they can get. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah. I guess that's that's certainly true. All right. I will step to the side, and then I will uh, do a lay on hands on uh, uh, the cleric, and we'll do uh, yeah, we'll do five points. Okay. Oh. Hey, Kenny. Back from the dead. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Mr. Paladin? Let me double check. That is an action to do that. So let me check my bonus actions real quick and see what I got. So. Okay, uh, I will. That's concentration. Sorry, I'm just taking a look at what I what I got going on here. It's all good. Yeah, that'll be it for now. I'm just I'm kind of like stepping over to kind of uh, to do the quick lay on hands and then kind of stand back up with my shield to uh, face the uh, the banshees while folks are trying to get everybody else sorted out. Okay. Takes us to Wandering Eyes, who is still down. Yep. Um, but I think, is this what you meant earlier? I think you are, now that you're at zero hit points, don't we get to like roll to see if you recover or something like that for death? Death save, yeah. Death save. Okay. It, could, it could be bad, but yeah, he might recover. Yeah. <laughs> so what, which, what, what do I roll? Uh, that's a good It's question. a flat D20, you got to beat a 10. Yeah, uh, okay. thank you, thank you. It's been a while since I... I 20 is a double success, and a one's a double fail. All right, you got a success. Mm -hmm. You got to get three successes. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got you. So keep track, yeah. yep. Uh, that takes us to uh, Brocket. All right, I'm just going to mass heal word to whoever doesn't have hit points. They're going to get this. Uh, it's an ally, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, so eight to... Uh, eyes and uh, the other cleric, and since that targets allies, I can have the cleric attack. Like hit him with your holy weapon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wail on the one who's already injured. And are they weak against anything? Edge, resistance, immunities, no weaknesses. I was hoping they were re weak against radiant, but nope. Okay, so bring on my sheet. Actions. Mace plus one. Seven to hit. Uh, I, I miss. Uh, use my bonus action to summon my spiritual weapon. Wait, can I cast that more than once? Because I already cast it in the last fight. I don't think I can. It depends on how many uh, spell slots you still have. I mean, you can if you have a, a second level slot, you can recast it, but uh, it depends on how many you oh, have available. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I have I have one. Okay. All right, so I'll bring that up. And that was a bonus action. So let me know after you're done hitting it. 
Okay. I'm going to use a, a cantrip. Oh, nice. Um, constructs, there you are. Put it behind right here. Attack with it. 1d8. Oh, max damage. Let's go. Uh, she still has... Minus eight. She's down to twenty health now. Okay. Let me add my weapon. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. That ooze is taking damage, right? No, I think we missed. No, no, no. Piercing hit it. Yeah. Yeah. He's down to sixteen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell the ooze to. To die, <laughs> and I'm gonna cast Toll the Dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oops, did my dice roll? I like I clicked them and they disappeared. Let me. Oh, there they go. They flew off the map so far. <laughs> thirteen, thirteen. And uh, it's a dexterity save. No, what is this? A wisdom save. Yeah, wisdom save of fifteen. Okay. What Disregard my dex save. That was an accident. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh. They still take half, though. Okay, okay. I just wasted that 20. Like, what a what a worthless 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, half damage. So six. Minus six. So he's at 10 now. Okay. Uh, put that next to me. Well, that was Brocket who just went right. Yeah, and I'm gonna back up a little bit more because those oh, things, okay. those banshees, yell pretty loud. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, that takes us to this one. Uh, she already used her whale. She's going to, well, she has this passive um, horrifying visage. Each non-undead creature within 60 feet of the Banshee must succeed on a DC wisdom saving throw. So let's everyone around her roll for that. DC, is that wisdom? Yeah, wisdom, which is good news for me. Oh, dude, another 20. Oh, I matched it, so I beat it. Thank God. Anyone roll low enough? No, nope. looks like we all dodged mm -hmm. it. That's good. Now she's going to use Corrupting Touch on me. And I got a sick AC. I'm at 23 now, I think. Uh, so that doesn't hit me. Nothing touch. Okay, that ends her turn. Um, this one is going to. Oh, I could be a. You know what? I'm gonna roll for it. If this is a six, she uses whale. Oh. <laughs> okay, so she's just gonna use corrupting touch. Uh, and she's going to hit the pallet in here. 21, does that hit? Nope. nope. I don't okay. think it does now with my new shield, but it does not. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Plus 2, so you were at 20, so you're at 22 now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, she misses. She whips, and you passed on the... She... Well, does she get to cast Horrifying Visage again every turn? Oh, you're immune for the next 24 hours if you pass, so. Nice. Okay, all right. Good to know. Yeah. And that takes us to the rogue, who has now got the height advantage. And you got some cover behind the boxes, too, just FYI. Not that these banks nice. have range, but yeah. <laughs> 
plus eight. Plus right? five. No, sorry, sorry yeah, eight. Eight. Six plus eight. The Fourteen. Fourteen banshees. You gotta be twelve, so Four. you hit. And she uh flanking actually doesn't work on ranged, so yeah. But you you do have the height advantage, but you also had some sort of you were frightened, weren't you? Yes. Okay, yeah, but you're good. Okay. And I add a total of five to this roll. Uh, and which one were you targeting? This one? Uh actually it'd be the other one. Because I don't okay. think I have a line of sight with the other one. Yeah, I guess my hulking character would be kind of in your way. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the other one... Um, well, you'd have the same problem. That one with the paladins in your way. Uh, well, no, no. You're right. Uh, you, can, you can shoot just around it. No, yeah, with the height close. advantage, if you like, yeah. Yeah, zoom into his character, you can kind of see. All right, so I'll, put, I'll make a note of her health there. Okay, and that takes it to me, unless the rogue wanted to do anything else. I'll back up a little bit. Okay. I think that and puts me out of 60 feet. Uh, yeah, yeah no, I'll say. Right yeah, you're right at 60, but if you're up there on that pipe, yeah. <laughs> nice. There we I was go. hoping someone would climb up there. All right. Core. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on <laughs> I'm going to hit this one with everything I have she's almost dead so I'm just going to wail on her um, finish her fatality exactly <laughs> <laughs> alright okay attack with my plus one mace for seven to hit uh, 15 hits so roll for damage mace plus one plus it is oh it doesn't let me stack with D rolls that sucks uh, all right so just do this first oh minimum damage four plus four radiant damage total of eight damage for me what was she at? Um, minus, so 20 minus 8. She's at 12. My spiritual weapon's not going to be able to do it. Yeah, 2 damage. So she's at 10 now. That takes us to the paladin. All right. And it's everybody's still wailing on that one on the left, right? That's the one that's yeah. been getting beat mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to step through to here okay. and I'm going to attack her as well does that give me an opportunity of attack you think oh uh, no I, I tried I tried not to move out of her out of her range I'm, I'm like within range of both of them okay all right fair enough uh, anything else uh, let me just do my attack first let's see yeah Nice. So AC 24. Right on, right on. That definitely hits. So that is 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. And another 6 of thunder damage. So 17 points total. Okay. And Let's see. Bonus action. Ah, I think I'm just going to hold off. Let's stay where we are. All right. Wandering eyes. Now that you're All back, right. you can get some revenge here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use my arm blade. Nineteen. And then my uh, slashing to go. No wait. My piercing to go with that. It's down to ten health. Nine. Nine plus the other one. Yes. 
So he's dead. Pew. Okay, he killed the slime. And the, uh, and I guess uh, I'm gonna end my turn there then. Right. Access to the cleric of order. You're talking. We cannot hear you. Sorry, I'm always muted. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna. I was gonna do a healing word at level two. I was just trying to see what spell slots I have. Okay. There it is. Yeah, I got a few of those left. On uh, the pal or the other cleric. So you heal for six, and then I order you to attack whichever one of those you want to attack. All right. Attack, attack. Uh, I'm going to do the bonk mace and definitely kill her this time. Come on, baby. Oh, nope. I miss. Add your bless. Uh, what about bless? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bless. Uh, okay. All right. So, roll for the nice damage. Seven plus. That's enough. She dead. She explodes into fiery little pieces nice. with my radiant damage. I just nice. got to make sure the other one can't howl. And yeah. as that one explodes <laughs> in that fiery radiant damage, I'm going to, since that was my bonus action, all that, I'm going to sacred flame the other one. Okay. So more oh. holy fire hits it. Holy fire. It's got to do a dexterity save to dodge this holy flame. <laughs> okay. DC 15. They get a plus two on dexterity, so let's see. Oh, oh dude. dude. With these <laughs> waves. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm taking Bane after this. <laughs> yeah, right. So blessed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, ta -ta. First one's dead. Second one, let's, let's see. If this is a six, she uses whale. Oh, no whale. She's going to do corrupting touch on the paladin. Oops, ignore that. Uh, 13 plus, okay, 17. No, probably nope. no. Um, and horrifying, you're immune to horrifying visage, so... That ends her turn, which takes us to the rogue, who's now elegantly perched up on the pipe here. Uh, which one ca casts Brighton? Uh, Brighton? Brighton. Don't, they don't have Brighton. Detect life and corporeal movement. No, Frighten. Oh, Frighten. Fright. Yeah. Frighten. Oh, that's... that's just, uh, I think that's just something it, they do, yeah. It's okay. a passive, but it was the second one that you did get a, a fear from. Okay, so I still got it. You are frightened of her. And it lasts for for one minute. And it's so, I mean, we've been around a couple turns. I'll say you're still frightened, though. Yeah. Um. So it's over 20 to hit. And a plus five. Totally forgot you were frightened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that kind of sucked. Yeah, a lot of uh, lows. 8, 9, yeah. 10, 11, 12. 12. She is almost dead. She has six health points left. And that's all I can do. All right. Thank you. I'll finish her, I say, with a mighty roar. Um, get my mace out. Just give her a bonk. Oh, 
to hood. Plus bless. Come on. There we go. I'm up there. Okay. This. Oh, max damage. Let's go. She's dead. She's dead. I'm not even going to roll for the other guy. She did. She's dead. Okay. Um, uh, let's roll for these guys' loot. Any of these are sixes. We get greens. Oh, three ones. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, hey. high, high roll. It's 1,600 gold each. So I have enough for four magic items. No, five. Five. I'm up to five now. Okay. I can get a blue. Oh, I can get a blue. It's about time, baby. All right. And since we're close enough, I'm going to go ahead and toggle this last room on. And as we catch our breath after that exciting battle, we see ahead of us another large room. I'm going to roll for perception. Before I move yeah, up, I'm going to do as well. I'm going to search over here with the boxes and crates. Okay. Oh, I can't see shit. My goggles are all foggy from battle. Oh, 10, 13. Nope. Nope. Eight. I got an 18. 18. I like the goggles being right. foggy from battle. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so 18 is good enough. You're able to see these two skeleton gentlemen ahead. That's Hang there. on. That's for the searching over here. Searching. Oh, the for Boxes. these. Okay. All right. I'm gonna roll for investigation on that. Let's all roll for investigation, or someone give me the help action, whichever you want to do. I'll give you the help action. Okay. Investigation with advantage. I get a zero for investigation. So fuck. <laughs> okay. Roll a six for. I don't find anything. Anyone else want to try? I got that 18. I have an 11 investigation. I can roll, I guess. Okay. The 18 was for perception, I think, wasn't it? No, I said it was for over here. Okay. That's my ass. So that's, what is that, 15 plus 11? 26. You are able to, so that's going to help increase the dice amount here. So we'll do three for it instead of two. Nice. Well, no sixes, but I wish that was the gold roll. And then, and then we have the six. All right, 1,400 gold. 1400 That's nice. Gold. That's a nice little find. Yeah. Then I'll come over and look through the room. All right. I, is, that, we, is that more gold now, for everybody, or is that just for him? That's for everybody. That's each. Nice. Yeah, so now I have enough for a blue item and a green item. Uh, yeah, everyone roll for perception if you haven't already. I'm, I bombed because my glasses are foggy. I'll move up a little bit more, though. 15. 15. 15 was just enough to see the skeletons ahead, the bones around the room, the mushrooms. I have 19 perception that I just rolled. 19 okay uh you're able to definitely see the skeletons then and uh i can't give you the character sheet because these guys are kind of homebrewed i took the regular skeleton sheet and basically just buffed it so these ones are going to be a little more difficult to read but that's pretty much it well you can see the greats obviously so we know we know what to avoid those how's, it, how's everyone doing though because Oh, that's a uh, I'm, good point. I'm, I'm about out of juice. <laughs> yeah, same here. I need a rest yeah. badly. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. And this is the safest room. And I'm going to try to do a... I think we should try for a long rest here. Yeah, I'm pretty wiped. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll I'm stay back and watch. Here. I'll put some candles. Out for the crates. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I've been alert, so I can't be surprised. Oh. So I'll stay up and watch. I had a, I had a question uh, with the with the character creation. Uh, I know you have the the prices for the magic items, but how much are uh, common ones? The green ones. 
no, no, the, like the black. Oh, ones just the there. white ones. Uh, I'll yeah. say 500. Okay, cool. I had enough for one, and I had actually put it on my sheet, but I hadn't subtracted out the money for it yet. If it was cool with you, I was going to have the um, my uh, my broken blade is actually a moon touched sword. So that's basically just it, ha- it gives off light when it's drawn, and it's typically a great sword. So this is the broken one is mechanically a long sword. Is that cool with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, long as you're sticking to the book somehow and a little, you know, a little bit, that's fine. All right, great. All right. Subtract the 500 from my sheet. While we're in a spot of asking questions, what all could we do yesterday for our weapons? What I mean, I was uh, going to ask you, but everybody got off. <laughs> what do you mean? We was about to add a buff to our weapons yesterday. Oh, yeah, so I said pick a damage type, any damage type you want. You go okay. to the blacksmith. You get 500 gold to basically it's like an enchantment for your weapon. And you get to add 1d4 to any weapon you want for 500 gold of any damage type that you want. That's cool. Yeah. And that's a d4? Yeah. Um, I wonder how I can manage to add that to the sword. Just give your paladin, just give it plus d4 radiant damage. I'm the rogue. Oh, you're the rogue? Then poison. Do acid. Yeah. That'd be cool. But I, mean, I don't know how to add that on the D&D. Oh, yeah. See, that's kind of... It, since it's homebrew, it's going to mm-hmm. be kind of tough. I think there is ways where you can like add it to your item. You can like customize items, but I don't know how to do that stuff. I hope that somebody yeah. makes like a really good D&D Beyond tutorial and posts it in the school channel. <laughs> I, I need to learn more about I, there's probably some on YouTube but yeah there's a lot there we yeah. go um, so if you scroll down you can add custom okay yeah even if it doesn't have the automation at least you can put the notes in so that you you, yeah. know, you know what's going on with it and it's, it's there on the sheet right yeah the automation's the best part though oh yeah totally for sure you can build you can build an item from scratch if you if there's something particular you want to do you can just create a, a homebrew item and it allows mm-hmm. you basically to do all of the fields you know like whatever you need to do with them so that that that's why you can get around to get I accidentally a click a dice and roll a twenty dang it I wasted it <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be right back I'll uh, just give me like a couple minutes I'll be right back yeah eight one handed plus one. Or 1d10 plus 1 plus 1d4 poison. Yeah, I'd love to actually play in the in the recurring, you know, like the ongoing campaign. Um, this one shot is fun, but uh, it's you know nice to be able to actually like carry on with goals from one session to another and stuff like that. Yeah. And level up. Yeah, that's nice, too. <laughs> Fridays are going to be my go-to. Yeah, it's tough for me if it's the same time, because I, I, I'm I'm in Eastern Standard Time, so that's like from noon till 3, so that's tricky mm-hmm. for me. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I just realized I'm... Uh, I'm on the East, too. I just changed... I work a, a compressed schedule. I just changed my day off to Fridays, so actually, I could play in that. Cool. I'm going to delete my long sword. Oh, it doesn't add it to the uh, equipped list. Weird. Hmm. So, right, notes, weight, cost. Yeah, it doesn't give you the option to equip it. Weird. At least I know it's there. I do want to try that Mario Kart thing that he's got going, too. That did sound pretty cool, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But I wonder, do we get items to throw, or are we throwing our own stuff? 
and how that works. Yeah, right. I remember afterwards, I'm asking to explain that just a little bit more. What sucks for me is I work third shift, though, so... Oh, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> this is right in the middle of my napping. <laughs> yeah, right? It's worth it, though. Oh, yeah, I would totally interrupt. I'd sleep in two, in two batches for, uh, for a D&D game. This is great. Right. I wonder how far away that is. Oh, that's, that's really far. All right, Steve was back. Okay, um, it's just, I like our little camp out here now. <laughs> it's, it's all cozy. I love building. I think I'm gonna build after this again. Oh, actually, no. I need to clean the kitchen before my wife gets home. Oh, okay. Out of building mode, back into exploration mode. Um, we are fully rested. We didn't need to roll. Well, I, uh, that reminds me, we're coming up on three o'clock. Do you guys want to keep playing? Uh, I'm afraid I have to have a hard stop at three. I, uh, I, I've uh, told my wife I'd be done by then. I got some stuff I got to take care of. Okay. Which is a bummer. Cause we're having a really good time. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'll rush right to the end then. And I'm going to open this. I'm going to open... Well, which I'll let you guys choose here. I'll, I'll show the ending here. We'll just rush one of the bosses. I have a druid, and I have two skeleton brothers. So whichever one you guys want to fight, we'll, and I'll rush... We'll basically just roll to see who gets to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I say let's go after the boss. Yeah, yeah. like whichever Big that. boss, yeah. Because I yeah. want the purple item, so let's do that. Yeah, just lockpick the other one. We already we already did one yeah, of the letters. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised that somebody actually didn't try that. I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, I thought you was going to have me do it on this chest over here. Oh, yeah, there is a chest over there. There is a lockpicking on that. Sorry, I forgot about that one. All right. I was waiting on it. Yeah, got this. <laughs> here, I'll roll. I'll roll. Just, we'll say you succeeded. Did you get any magic items? You did. You got <laughs> second one. You got yeah. No, this you first got, one. That's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you got. Where's my magic item list? You got a plus one dagger. Wait. Yeah. There's a nice <laughs> dagger for the rogue if you want to give it to whoever. Yeah, go for it. I was going to say, does anybody else need it? I'm good. Who threw the dagger and lost it? I'd give it to them. Me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, open this gate. Okay. One, two, three, four. Is that everybody? No, one more person. There you go. Okay. Um, and let's all just roll initiative to see who gets to kill it. This guy was pretty basic anyway. I was actually just going to use him as a chance to practice uh, spore, Druid of the Spores. I don't think I had a, a initiative over five. <laughs> yeah, man. My initiative rules were kind of hit and miss. There we go. I got a decent one. 14. Sea Storm got the 19. Be at 23. 23. Yeah. So 23 wins, it looks like. So just roll damage, I guess. Just attack it however you want. Wanna see how he dies. And I'll start rolling for items. I definitely did that wrong. But... Ooh, we got one green item. Four. Ten. And what was poison? D4. Go. 28. 28, he dies. Brr. I'll get you next time. 
And we got no magic items, but we got 1,200 gold each. This is for blues. We didn't get any blue items. And this is for purples. We did, Oh, we got one. Yeah, we got one. Thank goodness. Magic item. Source. Basic. And we are now up to rings. That's 1,200, right? On gold? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got a ring of shooting stars. And I'll post it in the chat here. That's very cool. Uh, it, requ it requires attunement, but otherwise it doesn't look like it has any restrictions on class or anything. I'm going to roll for it just because it's friggin' purple, man. Like, why not? Right. All right. Does what? Fairy fire, ball of lightning, and a bunch of other stuff. Wow. Oh, freaking yeah, two. Oh, well, everyone else is going to beat that unless you get a one. Eight, <laughs> three, oh, six. Man. Dude, our rolls are fucking awful. Ten. Oh, there's a ten. <laughs> Ten gets nice. it. You got the ring of nice. shooting stars. That's a good <laughs> item, man. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, All right, everybody. Great. Well, that's the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks oh, for yeah, playing. definitely. Um, yeah, I'm definitely tune in next to time. Again. I'm probably going to be running another one shot. I'm going to build again eventually, to not, probably tonight, and then we're on a one shot this week coming up. But next week, and I'm completely off. It's my anniversary. Do you have any, so. uh, do you have any ongoing campaigns that have an uh, open spot? Or are they yeah, yeah. Or? My South Claw, or uh, my South Claw, is an ongoing campaign, and it uses pickup group style every week. So all you got to do is make sure to respond to the ad mm -hmm. when I post you gotta it. Quick. You got to be quick, yeah, because they fill yeah. up really fast. Or if you're, you're a server supporter, like a booster or a Patreon supporter, you can reserve them. You can reserve a spot in advance on Fridays when I post the schedule a week in advance. Okay, cool. All right, just FYI. So thanks for playing, everybody. Really appreciate it. I'm going to stop streaming here so I don't forget.